Hi, you guys. Want to see every single thing that I have sewn this month? This is my monthly makes videos where I show you what I have been working on. Before we get started though, can I ask you guys a favor? Will you double check that you are subscribed? A lot of you think that you're subscribed. You get here through Instagram or Google or something else and turns out you're not subscribed. And that means so much to us YouTubers. So if you could just double check, make sure you're subscribed. That would be awesome. If you're new here, I'm Lindsay and I post sewing videos here on YouTube. Today you're gonna see some Cliff Notes versions of the makes that I have made, but I also post much more detailed uh, videos dedicated to each make uh, individually every single Monday. So be sure to check out the Make It Monday playlist if you're interested in watching some of those. But let's get into it. Let's talk about what I have made this month. Now, full disclosure, you guys have only seen one thing. <laughs> you guys have only seen one thing that I have made. I have a lot of Make It Monday videos to catch up on. Um, I don't even know where to start. Okay, let's start with Sew Together 21. So, Sew Together 21, this, or for August, was the Made for Mermaids Alana top dress maxi. And um, I ended up making two versions. One was kind of like a wearable muslin because I was trying to figure out how, well, I knew how to, but I was making sure that I really knew how to so that I could teach you guys how to add a shelf bra to that dress because it is basically just like a knit, like a straight knit dress and without anything, <laughs> you know, there's just like one layer between you and the world. Um, and so I like to do little shelf bras because Although it doesn't add a ton of support, like if you're a real full trusted girl, I don't necessarily think that's going to help you too much. Um, it does give like two layers of fabric and you can use that um, bra to add in bus cups. So I just wanted to make sure that like I had my head wrapped around it well so that I could teach you guys. But this is the wearable muslin that I made. Cutie little tank top. This is just the tank top version. I haven't even hemmed it. Um, and as you can see, it has the bias binding that become the straps. And then mine has the shelf bra inside. Um, so I made this version and then I also made a dress version. I got this really great um, cotton rayon jersey blend from Stylemaker Fabrics. Loved working with it. And you guys, I cannot even begin to tell you how many times I have worn that dress since I made it. It is just so easy to throw on. You don't even have to worry about putting on a bra. Um, it's comfortable. You can run out the door in it. It's been super, super hot here. So it's just been the absolute best. And I feel when I wear it, even though it's like really, really casual, I kind of feel a little bit like pretty, dare I say. It just feels like a little bit dressier than it actually is. And I really love that about it. Then I also have been really, really, really into, um, Statement sleeves, statement sleeve knits in particular. I binge watched all of the new um, Fixer Upper episodes that are on the Magnolia Network. Um, and that's pretty much all Joanna Gaines wore in that show. So I uh, picked up Simplicity 9273. It's just basically a t-shirt, but it does have two statement sleeve options. And so I had some knit from Stylemaker Fabrics. This is that t-shirt knit that I made for the Love Notions classic tee that I absolutely loved. Um, I ended up getting a couple colors of that because I loved it so much. So it's this dusty orchid color and then you can see like the cutie little sleeve that it has here. It's just it's not crazy big you know what I mean it's very very subtle but you can definitely tell there's like a little bit of something something there. Um, so I'll have a lot more thoughts for you guys whenever I post the like actual Make It Monday video, but I just wanted to show it to you. The color's super pretty, perfect for fall, right? Like it's gonna be great layering under things. It's gonna be great wearing with skirts or shorts or jeggings. Oh my God, I can't believe we're like talking about pants again. Um, but it's just one of those that's like plain, but it's a basic with a twist. And that's what I always say. My personal style is basic with a twist. Sometimes that twist comes in the form of fabric print, Sometimes it comes in the form of like an interesting style detail. And that's what this shirt has. So what have you guys been making this month? Let me know in the comment section below. I love hearing the things that you guys make. I know that you all say that this video inspires you, but 
you leaving a comment and let me know what you're working on also inspires me. Um, sometimes I hear about new pattern companies I've never heard of before, or I'll see like the same pattern showing up and I'm like, okay, that's obviously like a really good pattern because so many people are making it. So let me know what you guys are working on in the comment section below. But the very next thing is actually something you guys have seen. Thank you all so much for the positive response to that video that I posted, but this is McCall's 8154. <clears throat> it is the jumpsuit that I made from that chambray with the kind of the all over floral. I was just at Joanne the other day and they still had some. You guys have got to go get some of that fabric. It is really so, so, so good. Um, but you can check out this video. I will link it for you at the top of the screen here. Again, I think it's over here, but maybe it's over here. I can never remember. It's mirrored and then mirrored again. I don't know. Um, but I definitely want to make another version of this. I want to make one for fall, maybe in a corduroy, maybe in a denim, maybe in, I don't know, I'd have to see it. But I'm waiting for Stylemaker Fabrics swatches to come because this is swatch video month. At the end of the month, whenever fall begins officially is when, um, around that time is whenever I post the swatch videos. So I'll be able to get my hands on a whole bunch of swatches and hopefully I'll find one in there that will be good for this because I really loved how, I was surprised how good it looked without the belt. And so I wanna make a version <clears throat> kind of like this without the elastic cuff um, that you just wear without the belt. All right, and then you guys heard me talk about that teal ITY knit, and I got so many ideas and suggestions from you guys when I talked about that in the last, I guess, plans video, August's plans videos. You guys had a lot of really great suggestions. I had so much of it, I was able to make two entire garments. The first thing that I made is in McCall 7135, um, just this, uh, jumpsuit pattern. Yeah, I ended up making the jumpsuit. The I was interested to try this particular pattern because it's one of the only ones that I have that is in the women's sizing. Again, I'll talk to you guys a lot about this about this a lot more in that particular video, but it was different. It it was it was better in some ways, worse in other ways, and you know I'll be able to show you guys all of that. It doesn't look anything like this now. I don't think. I think it looks totally different. Some of the changes I had to make, some of the changes I wanted to make, um, doesn't really look like this anymore. But it's really cute, really comfortable. It's actually really dressy. <laughs> that was my thing. I was like, I T Y is gonna be dressy. Like it just is. It's drapey. It's slinky. It's you know it has a little bit of sheen to it. Like it's hard to avoid looking dressy in ITY knit. But the other thing I made is this pattern that I've had forever and ever. I've made it once before. I remember it being really big then and it's still really big. Um, like I made a medium and I'm not a medium. <laughs> um, but it is McCall 6744. It's really cute because it has like a bunch of these different bodice options. One of them is like a full racer back. This one has like the shoulder gathers and then you have like your basic tank. I just made the basic tank knee length dress, but I did add the overlay piece. So it does look a little bit like a wrap skirt with like a regular tank top. And you guys will see that. Again, it's not really super special. I don't know how much I will wear it, but it's definitely comfortable, easy to throw on. And you know, there's something to be said for that as well. So if you're looking at all these clothes that I am modeling for you guys, and you're wondering how I'm able to get the fit so good, mostly on the first try, first of all, it took me forever. That was one of the skills that I just kept working on over and over and over again. But that was until I developed my fast fit system. This is something that I just sort of started doing on my own and then realized this is actually working every single time. So I turned it into a whole thing, the fast fit system that is available for you guys. So I have it linked in the description box where you can go check it out. If you get that and you're still like, this fitting thing is like, my body is too weird or I hear everything, I, all the things. This is, whatever reason it's not working for you. I also offer one-on-one -on -one Zoom consultations where I can look and see, we can talk about measurements, we can look at your body, we can look at things that fit, things that don't fit and really do more of like a one-on-one -on -one personal assessment. I've done that a few times now and had a lot of success with it. So um, 
So yeah, check out the Fast Fit system if you want to learn how I fit every single garment that I make. But I hope you enjoyed seeing all of my makes from August. If you did, please give this video a like. I've linked that chambray jumpsuit video also to this end screen. If you're on mobile, the link will be in the description box. But that is going to do it for me today, y'all. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all very soon. Bye!